Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be sharing with you what a normal morning of online uni looks like. Now with everyone basically working from home due to the coronavirus, I thought I would share with you my experience and how I'm trying to stay productive. So first things first, food. I start my morning with a nutritious breakfast to give myself some brain power and fuel to get through the morning. So especially if I wake up early, I try to sort of ease myself into the work. So before I even sit down and do any work, I'll just have some breakfast, catch up on some YouTube to get it out of my system for the rest of the day. And then when I finished eating, I will also try to plan out my day. In my opinion, one of the most important things when working from home is organizing your day by creating a plan. So here in this notebook, I'm basically doing a little brain dump of all the tasks that I need to get done for the day. I know it does look like a lot, but I find the more I write down, it keeps me motivated to work harder and use my time more effectively. And then on the sticky note, I've sort of just reminded myself of the things that are already scheduled in for that day. So these may be online lectures, tutorials, or other tasks that were just planned ahead of time. The first thing I have this morning is a scheduled lecture which starts at 5 past 9. So I really quickly prepare for the lecture by importing the slides into GoodNotes and pre-screenshotting all of the diagrams so that I can write my notes while the lecturer is speaking. I also find by doing this it helps me get a good overview of what the lecture is about because I'm just flicking through the slides. And then I open up everyone's new favorite app, and that is of course Zoom, and I log into the lecture. For this subject in particular, they do live lectures on Zoom, so I always try to tune in and watch it live so that I don't fall behind on any of the content. In my last video about digital note-taking tips on GoodNotes, someone asked me how I do my headers, so I'll just really quickly show you. To do so, I use the brush pen tool, which you can find by clicking on the pen symbol. Then I use about a 0.5 millimeter tip. So to get this effect, you basically just press harder on the screen on your downstrokes and light on the upstrokes like normal calligraphy. And then I use the highlighter tool on the thickest tip and draw two lines on either side. So now, as you can see, the lecture has started and I'm just writing my notes on my iPad as he goes through the content. As I talk through some of the theory behind the prank, I'll be opportunity to ask questions um, and all that kind of stuff. Okay, uh, so motor is the, particularly reflexes are a focus today. Oh man, what's this thing written on my screen all about? <laughs> <laughs> so how do I stop you guys from annotating the screen? Uh, Oh man, I don't know how to do that. As you can see, we had a few technical difficulties at the beginning, as with most of my Zooms lately. But after that, we basically got straight into the content. And as you can see, I'm just writing my notes on good notes. To stretch your quadriceps muscle, it really means that you're likely to be falling backwards. And we need to correct that posturally by um, increasing the output and the contraction of the quads muscles. It's a flexion reflex. So it's more flex, the polysynaptic reflex. Um, you need to cross the extensor reflex of these, as well as the withdrawal as a compensate change. And you can see the level of branching that happens here, and it's necessary because we've got to again innovate a couple of muscles. So now I'm just flicking through the notes that I just wrote then in that lecture. So that lecture only went for one hour, so when that finished, I ticked it off my to-do list and moved on to the next task. On my to-do list, I grouped the tasks by subject to make it more organized and clearer in my head. So just while I was in the groove of studying physiology, the next thing I went on to do was write active recall questions to recap the content I just learned. That is one tip I have to stay on task. You can sort of minimize procrastination by grouping your work based on each subject so there's less distraction because you won't have to get out new resources, books, and like change your mindset of whatever subject you're studying. 
This year, I have organized a lot of my work online, so I'm using an app called Notion. Some of you may have heard of it before, but basically it's like making mini Wikipedia pages on each topic, lecture, subject, whatever you want. You can import slides, images, write text in each page. So here I am just writing questions based on the lecture content for my future self when I revise. If you want to see a video on how I use Notion for uni, then leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to get onto that. One feature I really like on this app is you can make toggles. So basically they're like drop down boxes. You can write the answer to each of the questions. So when you test yourself in the future, you just click the toggle and then the answer is right there. So it's kind of like making mini flashcards. So because I basically am staying home all day, I try to use my time as effectively as possible. So one thing I do is set time limits. So for example, I'm writing my anatomy notes now and I set a 50 minute timer to finish the lecture and my notes in. Otherwise I find that if I give myself too much time to do a task, then I sort of just take really long to do it and procrastinate more. So to be effective, I give myself a limit and sort of try to work under time pressure. So for me, writing notes isn't necessarily the way I memorize everything. It's just that if I can organize my notes in a way that I understand when I want to come back and look at it, then I have to write my own lecture notes because I find if I go back to revise and look at the slides, I can't necessarily comprehend everything. And if I write it out in a way that is easy for me to understand and also remember, then that will help me to memorize in the future. I also used to annotate the lecture slides, but now I sort of just write my notes while the lecturer is speaking and I find it a lot faster and it gives me more time to actually focus on the content afterwards rather than annotating the slides and then writing the lecture notes. It saves a step sort of in my process. Sometimes it is a bit difficult to keep up with the lecturer, but to make things easier, I do pre-screenshot as I showed you at the beginning of this video and then if I have to, I'll annotate those images and it's a lot faster and I find I'm able to complete the notes within the hour. Another productivity tip I have is to put in systems within each subject of how you study. As you can see in this video already, in physiology and anatomy, I sort of study in the same way where I will do the lecture notes when I'm listening to the lecture and then afterwards I will write questions based on the content on Notion so I can practice in the future. By setting up this system of how I study for each subject, it makes the tasks that I need to complete a lot clearer. It also ensures that I stay on top of the content because I know what to do after each lecture and I'm not sitting around wondering what tasks that I need to complete. The last thing that I did this morning was tutor. So I am doing a little bit of IB tutoring for chemistry and math. I went on Skype and did my lesson. This lesson, we sort of just set in a plan for how the next few months were gonna go before the final IB exams in November and set out revision tasks week by week on what she should do to cover all the content. If you are also doing your IB exams in November, you can follow this revision timetable that I made. I will put it in the description, but it's for SL chemistry. So it's to cover all the content basically twice and most of the past papers before the November exams. So that is everything for this video and what a productive morning of online uni looks like. I am wishing you all a productive days while you're at home doing your self-isolation. It is a strange time that we are living in, but as long as we all sort of do our part to practice good hygiene, social distancing, and also know that if you do feel unwell, then you should try to stay home and rest up. And I'm sure we will all get through it together and hopefully things will go back to normal. I hope you all have a great rest of the day. Let me know what you guys are planning to do whilst you're at home. 
in the comments below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and also be sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell if you want to be notified when I post more videos like this. And with all of that being said, thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!